In the tradition of early America's Minutemen of 1776, who held themselves instantly ready for any attack, today's advanced Minuteman missile will soon bring to our nation's defense more stamina and power, making it the fastest shot we can get aloft, and fired in salvos, the deadliest, with unequaled accuracy. As this remarkable ballistic weapon began its initial series of flights during the fall of 1964, construction of new test and operational launch sites for this second generation Minuteman was well underway. This vital progress in strengthening our missile defenses and the continuing expansion and modernization of our ICBM force is the substance of this report. On the morning of September 24, 1964, at Cape Kennedy, Minuteman II, America's newest ICBM weapon, was flight tested for the first time. In every respect, its performance was a total success. In the ensuing nine months, six more advanced Minutemen were launched from the underground test silos at the Cape and flown, without a hitch, over 5,000 miles down the Air Force Eastern Test Range. While across the continent at Minuteman Wing 1, Malmstrom Air Force Base, Montana, a new squadron was being carved out of the earth as construction began on 50 Minuteman II sites. During this same period, BSD's Project Chalk Talk modified 13 surplus Atlas boosters, refitting them primarily for space research flights. And as vital force modernization programs for updating our Titan II and Minuteman I missiles began to roll forward, deactivation of 158 first-generation ICBM weapons was ordered. A historic event that marked the end of an era. Our initial ICBM deterrent force, now relatively slow acting, too complex and too costly to be maintained, was being retired. The tremendous task of removing 158 obsolescent Atlas and Titan I missiles from 14 bases across the nation and safely transporting them in missile convoys to storage facilities at Norton Air Force Base, California, was accomplished in less than four months' time. The phase-out actually strengthens our missile defense picture. Now, only silo-launched Titan II and Minuteman forces remain in our ICBM arsenal. And with the operational turnover to SAC of Minuteman Wing 5, Warren Air Force Base, Wyoming, our strategic strike force presently stands at 854 operational ICBMs, as programmed, with a total of four new Minuteman squadrons at Malmstrom and Grand Forks, well on the way. The operational turnover to SAC of the Minuteman I missiles at Warren occurred on June 30th. In a ceremony attended by military, state, and local dignitaries, BSD officially passed the 200 operational Wing 5 missiles to SAC. Activation at Warren was, in the words of General McCoy, not only the biggest site activation task that we've had to do, but it's been done the best. And it was completed not only on schedule, but 15 of the 20 flights were completed ahead of schedule. In the area of site activation, the advanced Minuteman is also playing a starring role. The enormous and complex job of building underground missile facilities is controlled from a Minuteman Action Center at Norton. Surrounded by banks of MINAC status boards, the program director and his staff meet weekly to offer guidance, untangle difficult problems, 
and coordinate the activities of all the site activation task force teams in the field. But under the single management concept, which began with Atlas, only one man, the SATAF commander in the field, is totally responsible for bringing each launch site into operational status, on schedule, no matter how tight the deadline. 